the lob. They put us on our heels. You can't do that on the road. Um, you know, you got, you got in the, I was obviously really proud of our response, but, you know, you, you just can't dig that big of a hole against a really good team like that. A really good team that was ranked 19th in the country. Arizona's opponent, Tennessee, had only lost to number five, Villanova, and number 18, North Carolina, this season. Factored in with a home crowd and some perhaps home cooking when it comes to home refs. And now Coach Tommy Lloyd has suffered his first loss as a head coach after opening up his career at the U of A with 11 straight victories. Good evening to you. I'm Paul Seacolla. The Wildcats now have... Christmas break before them, before hitting the road for fifth ranked UCLA on Thursday, a week from today, and number eight, USC. And back to one of the key the themes in Arizona's tonight. first Coming loss of the season foul trouble for both big men, Asulis Tebulis and Christian Coloco. They fell out along with game. Ben Mathler. Now coming and up into the foul. or coming into the matchup, the Wildcats have been called for an average of less than 20 fouls per game. And, but and again, Tennessee with SEC right referees, the Cats were called for 28 fouls, leading to 27 free throws. Even Kirk Kreese got a technical for voicing his displeasure to the refs. And a technical foul. I always tell our guys, the team that complains to the refs first and complains the most usually loses. So I don't like losing. So let's quit complaining to the refs. Arizona currently sits at 11-1, while the Tennessee Volunteers are 10 and 2 and to everyone upset with the referees on how they seemingly called more tic-tac fouls against the U of A. Hey, give them a break. Those referees were volunteers. You get it? Tennessee volunteers. Ah, sorry. I heard somebody see that one on uh, social media, and I said, hey, I can't resist it. All right, moving on to more Pac-12 hoops. Stanford would take on Liberty in the Hawaii Airlines at Diamond Head Classic in Hawaii. And check out Michael O'Connor at the buzzer. Sup, sup, supple. Hey, luck or not, it counts. That allowed Stanford to tie it up at the half. Now, fast forward to final seconds. Down by three. Can Liberty get off a game-tying shot? No way. Jose. Nah, -uh. out of bounds. The Cardinals survived by just that. Three points with the 79-76 win. So that ends up being the difference. Tucson native and former Catalina Foothills standout Sam Beskin got into the game for a two-minute stretch in the win for Stanford. Finally, tis the season for giving. And one of the charities that the Barstool Sports Arizona Bowl contributes to is the Miracle en el Barrio. And get this, we're now learning more about the recent toy drive and more kids who come from poorer families were able to receive at Christmas gifts thanks to the countless volunteers, donors, and bowl officials. Miracle in El Barrio, presented by Nova Home Loans, gave toys to over 2,000 kids. With Nova Home Loans being a sponsor of the Barstool Sports Arizona Bowl, who also donates toys to Miracle in El Barrio, the two team up to raise money to give to local charities as well. And hey, don't forget, tickets are still available for the New Year's Eve showdown right here in the old Pueblo. Kickoff for this season's matchup at Arizona Stadium between Boise State and Central Michigan. Set for 12 at noon, New Year's Eve. That's it for now. I'm Paul C. Kala. We'll be right back.